was great to be able to do it here in my own hometown. You know, um, it's it's very hard to explain. Like it's the elation I'm getting from it. You know, I've been my whole life born and raised here in Manhattan, walking past the building, and to be able to go from looking at it from the outside to be able to step inside and compete and put out a performance like that, it's just feels like a dream come true for me. I'm sure you guys have both been veterans for a long time, been booked two organizations. How has this fight not happened before? Yeah, I'm surprised it hasn't already. Um, one way or another, I felt like he, you know, him and I would have crossed paths, you know, so it's kind of funny that it would have been tonight. Right. Uh, Aiden so, surprised you by the fight? Did you caught off guard, I think, by anything he had to offer? Not necessarily. I mean, Ben Saunders is Ben Saunders, you know, right. on, on record, and all his fights we watch, you know, so uh, we train pretty much for his style. I knew he was going to, from the inside, try to work his clinches, mm -hmm. and I was anticipating it, and I had an answer for that. The height differential, did it help to, to land the punches? In the clinch? Yeah, it did because when you're taller, you tend to, you know, bring your head down. If you're clinching over, you go under. I was looking to go over or under, but work the body. That was the game plan. How good does it feel to have that? You the, the you had the Usada issue, but you were vindicated. Yes. Um, coming back here tonight, this must have been what you waited for for a while now. I don't imagine. Yeah, this, I mean, it feels like it came full circle. You know, I was given, I was basically given a. A gift from God, you know, to be able to get a second go at this, it's not an opportunity most people get, so I'm very happy that Dana White, you know, gave me the opportunity to fight tonight in uh, MSG. Do you have an update on the lawsuit? Because I know you're suing them, right? Yeah. Do you have a, can you tell us any more about that? Yeah. Okay. Great. You were supposed to be on the, the first ever card here. Yes. Does it feel like vindication a little bit now that you, get, you came here and you got, you got this win? I mean, you'll never get that opportunity back. There's nothing unlike, you know, it, there's nothing like that first, you know, the first ever UFC in New York City, so that's an opportunity I lost, but I don't look back, man. I look at the positives of everything. You know, things happen for a reason. That's my belief in life. And it gave, no matter what happened, it gave me the opportunity to fight tonight. And what happened happened. You, know? you were just watching out your teammate Julio. There's blood everywhere in that fight. What's that like when you're when you're watching a teammate like that and there's blood gushing and it's, and it's kind of a crazy fight? It's hard, man. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm more nervous for me fighting than I am for watching somebody else. You know. It's very, it's very easy to be a spectator of the sport, but the second you know the person that's in that cage, it's, it's, very, it's a very different feeling. It's just nerves. And you guys have a ton of uh, teammates on, on this card, too. Shane, we just saw Shane a few minutes ago. Is that difficult, uh, all you guys fighting on the same cards? No, actually, it's very beneficial, especially if you're in training camp, because there's such a high level of intensity you know, back at our camp to, uh, to fight. There's a lot of energy going into it, and we motivate each other, too. So. It's good to have more than one person, you know, from your team competing the same attitude. It's been a few years since you got a win, you've been out of action for a long time. Getting a victory like this, what does it do for your career? Where do you feel like you fit into this weight class? Um, the best way to, you know, to make up for lost times is to have them put out a performance where you finish your got you got to, you know, go over and try to knock them out. But I don't, I don't think I'm there yet to be able to say that I deserve top 10, this and the other, you know, all I know is I gotta just keep putting out performances like that and work my way up the food chain and little by little I will be a top 10. Whose beard is better, you or Burgos? I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> I'm not a very good judge, look at mine, mine's terrible, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> Burgos got nice ones, like nice and fat over here, so I don't know. You sound a little but, bit but envious. It's, 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 it's going, I do it just ritualistically for every fight, I always grow out a beard and for every fight, but um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back and ask Shane, and we're gonna go around and ask everybody. <laughs> Beard off. Yeah. <laughs>